Jenny from Homestead Corner and today I am just making up a quick one-to-one -one, um, sugar syrup for our honeybees. Uh, they only take it when they need it. I kind of just leave it out on the hive in a feeder. Um, some days they drink it right down, other days they don't really touch it, so which is okay. Um, I like to have it there in case they need it. So what I do is I only have one hive at the moment and even if I had just two hives that would be, uh, I wouldn't really make any more at a time. This is an easy recipe that I have found. I use a half gallon uh, mason jar to mix it in and there are marks, I don't know if you can see them on here, uh, for, and there's a line there for five, six, uh, for cups. So I put five cups of water um, in here. So if you have spring water, that is wonderful, or a natural well. Um, that's good too. If you have city water, if you can, I would buy some spring water or something because the city water has fluoride and chlorine in it and you really don't want to give that to your bees. And I also use an organic sugar. I don't, um, I don't really like the white, a lot of people buy the white cheap brand whatever there is for sugar but I'm concerned about what they use to process that sugar and they have bleached out and made it perfectly stark white and that's not how sugar is naturally so um, I personally like the organic sugar and my bees seem to really love it they suck it right down on the days that they need it and we haven't had any issues with that so I have five cups of water and now I'm going to measure out five cups of this organic sugar. Okay, so I've got a canning funnel. You can use any kind of funnel. I like the canning funnel because it has a big opening and nothing ever gets stuck if you do happen to have a little chunk in your sugar. And uh, we're just gonna measure out five cups and put it right in the water. And I don't heat my water up. I'm just using water right from my um, sink. I'm a little messy. I'm messy always when I'm doing anything. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, so this makes a perfect half gallon. Five cups and five cups. And uh, we are just going to shake this up and let the sugar dissolve in here so I usually let it sit for a few hours and I when I walk by it I just give it a little shake you can heat up your water to help it dissolve but then you're taking out any extra minerals that might be in that water that's good for them so um, we're just, this is how I do it, um, and it works really good with our bees, and they're doing really good. There are tons of eggs, larvae, brood, cat brood. Um, they're doing really good expanding um, in their hive, and they're collecting tons and tons of pollen. Their inside of their hive is like electric yellow right now from all the pollen. So we're just going to let this sit for a little bit. We'll give it a shake every when I walk by it. Sure. No specific times. Or anything. Um, sugar has all dissolved. Then you're ready to feed your bees. So we're going to go ahead and fill up our bee jar. And that's it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.